the most important discovery of my career was made a while back in 1979, where we discovered for the first time that if you took cancer cells that had been created through exposure to a chemical carcinogen and you extracted their DNA, one could demonstrate that in that DNA there was the information for growing like a cancer cell. If you extracted DNA from a normal cell, that information was absent. And that was the first uh, demonstration, experimental demonstration, that the information for malignancy is actually encoded in the genome, in the DNA of the cancer cell. Cancer is not an invention of a uh, modern civilization. It's just a consequence of the fact that when multicellular animals were designed, evolved uh, already uh, 600 million years ago, uh, the plan was to compose a complex organism out of a number of independent autonomous cells. The moment one creates these complex multicellular organisms, one runs the risk of cancer because one or another of these cells may run off on its own and become a renegade and start proliferating inappropriately in a place and at a time in the life of the organism where its proliferation leads ultimately to tumors. We've become more sophisticated in, in trying to figure out ways of treating the disease, um, but perhaps uh, most important is the growing realization that if we're going to have major reductions in cancer-associated mortality, they will likely come not through the work of people like myself, but rather through the change in lifestyle. And therefore, uh, one imagines that between 65 and 70 percent of cancers could be avoided in this country if we led different lifestyles. And that's an extraordinary drop in, in uh, potential mot mortality from the disease, uh, far more than people who treat cancer could hope to achieve.